Hi, my name is Mark Chen. I'm a photographer and Adobe certified expert and instructor. When I work, creativity comes first, and quality stands right behind it. No matter it is landscape, weddings, portraits, or still lifes, I have one secret weapon, that is camera raw techniques. My book, Unleashing the Raw Power of Adobe Camera Raw, is all about this secret weapon. This video is a sneak preview of what you will find in this book. Before I reveal the secret weapon to you, I want to tell you the advantages of shooting RAW over JPEG. Advantage 1. Bigger Sweet Spot a so-so tennis player like myself miss hit the ball all the time. So I can certainly use a larger sweet spot on a huge racket. Shooting raw gives you a large sweet spot. So if you miss the exposure or the white balance, the images are still usable. Advantage 2. Better Adjustability if JPEG is like a hi-fi component with just one on-off button, RAW is like one with many knobs and sliders. Advantage 3. Higher cookability. JPEG is a pre-seasoned beef patty. RAW is a juicy USDA certified top sirloin. Now let's see how these advantages unfold in the following example. This is a typical sunny day in Houston. Because the sky is so bright and the shades under the trees are so much darker, the camera can't possibly record details in both areas. The sky is overexposed and the trees are underexposed. I will zoom in to the cloud and show you how details of the cloud were lost due to overexposure. Look at the histogram and you will see the cutoff at the right end. This is called highlight clipping. When this happens, pixels that are too bright to display fail to the right side of the histogram's limit. They all become white, so there's no details. Can we recover these details? The answer is yes because I shot this in RAW. Now the RAW file is opened into Adobe Camera RAW. And I will zoom in to the clouds. First I need to reduce the exposure width, of course, the exposure slider. Put it to the left to minus 1.5 and the clouds look great. Look at the histogram. The clipped area is back. Let me go back and forth a few times. See how the exposure slider affects the histogram? Zoom out to see the whole image. Oh no! The trees are very dark. I will use the brightness slider to make the trees bright again. Aha! I know what you are thinking. Reducing exposure and increasing brightness? Isn't that doing nothing? The answer is no. You see, exposure's effect on the histogram is much heavier on the right side. Brightness effect is much more in the middle. I will leave the brightness at plus 100. After these two adjustments, highlights are recovered first, then mid-tone and shadow are brightened. Look at the image again. We find the trees much brighter, but the brightening of the mid-tone made the sky wishy-washy. The clouds don't look as brilliant either. We need an adjustment that only touches the right half of the histogram to darken the sky. That will be the recovery slider. Slide it to the right, and only the right half of the histogram is pushed to the left. The preview shows the sky darkened, and the darker trees and ground are nearly unaffected. I will have the recovery setting at 50. 
I still think the trees and ground can be a little brighter. What I need is a slider that adjusts only the left half of the histogram. That will be the field light slider. Slide it to the right, and you will see the trees brighten up. And the left side of the histogram shifts toward the right. I will settle for a field light setting of 35. Now the trees do look brighter, but in the same time, they look a little wishy-washy. This is because the field light adjustment has taken away two blacks in this image. A look at the left side of the histogram will confirm that. There is nothing touching the left limit. What we need now is a slider that touches only the left extremity of the histogram, so we can darken the shadow without affecting other tonal levels. The answer is black slider. Putting it to the right will push the shadows darker. I will settle for a setting of 10. Let's compare the images before and after the adjustments. Now also compare the histograms. The adjustment in camera raw has much improved the quality. My secret weapon brought another great success. The details and practice file of this example, along with techniques that will make you a camera raw master, are all covered in my book Unleashing the Raw Power of Adobe Camera Raw. The book is available on Amazon.com and major bookstores. Now go and make better photos.